I guess the biggest thing I think we'll say on the benefit side is we look at AI being able to process just huge amounts of data so quickly. And when you combine it with the generative side of AI as well, being able to speak into the air or type something out saying, I'd like to analyze these reams of data, boom, it's plotting all the graphs out. It's just going to, I think, transform how we consume data, review data. Maybe the days of spreadsheets will be gone and you'll be able just to say, I'd like to aggregate all this, combine it this way and display it in whatever format I want through natural human English. I think that's going to be something that's coming here before too long. Yeah. And I I think it's going to be even more advanced than that. So you're talking 10 years from now, we're already at the brink of something amazing that's happening with generative AI and NVIDIA and the processing power that's happening. That company is through the roof right now. So 10 years from now, I'm looking at self backing up data. So the data will be able to back itself up. It will know that it's this specific application. So I'm going to go ahead, make a copy of myself, replicate myself across the cloud in multiple regions, and even set my own retention policy and know exactly when I need to recover myself because I can stop an attack. So, and and maybe I've been watching too many movies like Transcendence, but it's really, 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 I mean, we can't even imagine where we're going to be, but there will be a, a definite futuristic angle on what artificial intelligence and gen AI can, can actually do for our data. And you're thinking things that are kind of out of, out of your, your mind right now. Well, I think from a positive perspective, there will be hopefully self-regulation by the IT community first. Um, mm-hmm. versus just the government stepping in. There aren't too many. There are IT guys. We all sell to government agencies with IT guys, but the guys who make the policy, there aren't too many computer science majors or people that worked at Infinidat or IBM or Microsoft or any of the companies represented. They didn't work at a SIGRA. And the problem is they don't know what they're doing. So, you know, I do think that the self-regulation first and the government regulation is already starting and it's going to get, you know, even more intense. I'm talking now just in the next three to five years. So if it's done right, it'll be very beneficial to the companies and to the general populace. If it's done wrong, it's going to be bad for everyone. It'd be bad for the vendor community like us on this panel. It'd be bad for the uh, com- companies we sell to want to use it. And it's going to be bad for the general population if it's regulated and properly, aka the regulations don't work. And my data is everywhere. Uh, and next thing I know, I'm bankrupt even though supposedly I just won the lotto yesterday and a billion dollars and up the next day. Well, that's the stuff that'll happen if it's not regulated either a self regulation by all the technology vendors and B then the government doing the right thing. So, and also the government and, and the technical team, technical community need to work together. Yep. And yeah. And I think the key thing there is, is fine. yeah. So I think regulators, Regulation is important because it gives us guardrails of what not to do or what to do. But I think what I think in the future, Chris, you asked what what would should we expect in the future? We need to adopt certain things that could make our products safer and with better transparency to the consumers, like data protection risk assessment and providing that risk assessment to our customers. Uh, yes, we would like to be able to have recommendation engines from AI to tell you what to do or to meet your your point. Just tell me when to back up and when to retain, right? But it needs to be not without some human intervention. It can't be just completely humanless, right? It needs to be providing intelligence so we do our work better. There are also a lot of development approaches to protect privacy, like differential privacy and federated learning that allows us to kind of kind of design systems and process data with the privacy by design. So there's a lot of things we need control with fed regulation, but there are a lot of things we can adopt whether it be data risk assessment, make sure there's training, and then make sure there's awareness uh, in terms of how we can protect our customers. Uh, so this kind of responsibility falls on both sides. But the power of what AI can do is endless, right? Because the fact that it can process so much information and come back with answers quickly, that helps yeah. us do things. It just is a major shift in our societal, you know, how we live. Yeah. And then Kristen, it looked like you uh, wanted to jump in. So I want to make sure you can. Sure. Um, I'm going to look at it from just a little bit of a different angle since I'm, I'm in a very innovative industry. The food industry innovates crazy and often and fast. And they're always thinking about the future. So I think we're going to see a precision farming go off the chart. I mean, 
I think that that's going to be amazing, especially since we have trouble with labor force in the field. Um, I also think that we're going to see more automation inside of factories. Uh, I think that there will be more um, automation for safety in factories. So think like a poultry factory or some type of meat factory, keep employees safe. There might be less of that on the line. Um, I also think that we're going to see um, better fire suppression services. We'll see drones go up right when there's a sensor and they'll head to the wildfires. I think we'll see um, our critical infrastructure completely change in some ways where we'll have more automation, more alerts, more understanding of what's going on in an environment. I think even coming down to like emergency services with traffic lights, even more than it is now, I think you're going to see um, patterns emerge in different places. Hopefully we'll deal with some of the things that we unfortunately have been dealing with, such as the state of infrastructure. Maybe there'll be better ways to determine when things are going to be questionable. Um, I think we'll see weather regulation come out of AI a little bit differently. There's just so much that's going to change our life, as it was just said. Um, And I think that sky's the limit, really. And I'm excited to see where it's going to go. I'm also concerned on a a side note that um, what it's going to do for like social media and how our data is going to be used there. Um, We already know it's sold and traded and sold again and then traded again. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work because the algorithms are going to get tighter and stronger with AI. Yeah. So I'm I'm interested to see how that's all going to play out, especially from the regulatory front. I think that's probably where we'll end up going first along with the rest of it um, because that's very visible and people are going to get chatty about it. But from like an innovation like food and life and infrastructure process, it's going to be amazing to see what we do there. Um, and hopefully we can secure it as well because as yeah. Eric pointed out, we do have nation states to be concerned about. Great. Thank you very much for that, Kristen. Um, you know, so it's hard to believe it's almost been an hour, but AI is really, as Kristen said, one of those major revolutionary technologies. You know, we had coal processing and we had the factory and we had the assembly line. We had all these things that all have great potential for good and great potential for harm. And as with AI, it's up to us to think about the future carefully and with intention and it's up to us to be the ones that put the guardrails in uh we can't trust the technology to police itself and we can't always trust the vendors who have a profit incentive for selling ai products to police themselves we have to be sure that we know what they're doing we have to be sure that we are aware of the effects on our lives and on our businesses and try to regulate that and within that framework of self-regulation what incredible opportunities AI is bringing to all of us. And it's really something to be excited about and to embrace. 